Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel aka Lily Works and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and whatnot. And today we have shoe orders, belt orders, and jewelry orders going out. I'm going to be including the $61 whatnot sale um, in my total. So yeah, let's go pull orders this Monday. Okay, so I sold $61 on Whatnot, so I'm including that in this um, jewelry sales, and these are the rest of the jewelry orders that are going out from this weekend. This is not packaged well, so you can't really see it, but this nine, or I'm sorry, New York and Company necklace, which I have up on the screen, sold for $11.99. I've had it forever. It is a lot more beautiful in person than I pictured. Um, but I'm glad it finally sold. It came out of a jewelry jar a long time ago for 50 cents. These Monet disc earrings, lovely. They're clip-ons. These sold for $19 today, this morning. Um, buyer paid shipping. These sold on eBay for $19. This swank set um, sold full price. I paid about $3 from an antique store. It is the cufflinks and the tie bar. These are some jesters. So I believe, are these 80s? I'm not sure, but it has that black background. These are pretty common, like Roman um, soldier heads, jesters, things like that. But this sold for $29.99, buyer paid shipping. So that was a really great sale. This one was not a great sale. This was just $5 faux turquoise arrow necklace, but you know, $5 is $5. So that sold, and I picked it up out of a shop good a lot but for about a dollar. These are some pine cone belt buckles. So it hooks right there in the middle, and it does have that little cartouche where it does say the brand, and the brand is Mimi D N. Mimi D I N. And I picked this up at Goodwill. It came in a bag full of buckles, vintage buckles. So I'm guessing I paid around a dollar, but it did sell for 20 bucks on Poshmark finally. So yay, really neat belt. Another um, jewelry sale that I don't even know this brand I am. I don't know where they sell it, but it was new on the card, a friend's bracelet, sold for $10 on Poshmark. Got that in a shop goodwill lot for about a dollar. These are really cute. These are some sterling pressed flower vintage earrings, and they are marked sterling on the back. These sold for $18, and I, again, I got them out of a shop good a lot. This, I'm really surprised, sold, but yay, finally it sold. Um, this I listed as like a 70s wood choker necklace, sold for $8 on eBay, and again, I got that for less than a dollar out of a shop good a lot. These I picked up at a thrift store. They are not marked sterling, but they did test as sterling. Picked them up for two bucks. So sometimes the um, jewelry with these little squiggles can be um, like sterling silver because the makers um, take a little bit more time to put those details in. Sold for $22 on Poshmark. Again, I paid $3. Okay, this bracelet just sold. Sold for $18. It is not vintage, but it's like an antiqued gold tone um, charm bracelet. Sold for $18. Bucks. Got it out of a shop. Good a lot for less than a dollar. Okay, this bundle, you guys, I actually gave this buyer a deal because, okay, let's just talk about it. Now I'm <laughs> getting comfortable. So I sold this set on Poshmark for $38. So the buyer actually ended up taking the best offer of $10 that went out. So when they accept an offer, they are already paying for shipping on that, which is seven something or five something, whatever the offer was. So they had accepted the offer for this and then made me 
um, bun they started bundling. So they had already paid for this pair of earrings, started bundling, and then sent me the offer for $38 for these three earrings. And so I was like, well, that really stinks because I want to accept the offer, but then they would have to pay for shipping twice. So to just so I didn't have to cancel everything and redo everything and just the whole headache of it, I felt that $38 for all four pairs was actually a really good profit for me. So I just basically canceled this order completely, let the buyer know, gave them the option, canceled it completely so they were refunded completely, and I'm including it in the bundle. So I wish that um, Poshmark could make that a little bit easier. Fortunately, they make bundling eas easier um, than eBay, to be honest, but I'm still really happy with this sale. So we have these um, coin, like turquoise coin earrings. We have these big statement, look at how chunky these um, cabochons and it's like three-dimensional flowers, just really statement earrings. These are the 80s green swirl hoops. And again, these shell earrings I picked up for 77 cents when I was going through the antique store bins that one day. Okay, I'm sneaking in the sales that just came through before I'm packing up. So I'm just gonna um, put them in here. This Ann Taylor necklace just sold. It is a plastic um, multi-layered necklace, sold for $13 on eBay. I took that best offer. No, they took my best offer. Got it in a shop, go to a lot for less than a dollar. These are some pretty neat retro earrings. They are new old stock and they are pierced. These sold for $14.99, which is funny because <clears throat> um, I saw that I had a watcher on this and you can send um, offers to watchers. So I was about to send an offer of $13. But as I was sending out the offer for these earrings, it said um, the, um, the amount exceeds amount. Um, available. So when that pops up, that means that the buyer is in the process of buying it full price. So yay <laughs> for that one. And then lastly are these Sterling Sienna Sky Fox earrings. You can buy these on Amazon, but I think they're priced a little bit more than 20 bucks. These sold full price 20 bucks on Poshmark. And again, I picked these up from a shop Goodwill lot. So sneaking those in there and adding them to my jewelry. All right, so that is it for the jewelry. I will make sure to put up my sales up on the screen and we can go grab some shoes. Okay, so I already pulled some shoes. Um, the boots, these winter boots, my section over here is actually getting kind of empty. It was really, really packed full. So I'm kind of glad that winter um, is coming and we're selling out of the winter boots. So yay. So let's talk about these Skechers right here. These are so soft and in really great shape. Pick these up at the bins. I do like picking up Skechers if they're in great shape at the bins because they will sell. These sold for 30 bucks on eBay. Again, I picked them up for about two bucks. These Steve Madden, again, this was on a day that the bins were totally, totally picked over. Like today, I will be posting a video of that haul shortly. But I went today with, to the bins with my uh, children and my mom and it was so picked over. But I still am able to find some things. So this is Steve Madden. I believe Steve Madden um, a lot of times has the style... This one doesn't, but I can see. I don't know. But sold for $22.99. And again, I picked them up for less than a dollar. <gasps> this was one of my favorite sales this weekend. It was only $30, but $30 for these gorgeous vintage heels. Really nice soft leather. Someone took really good care. They still had the um, insert in the toe. Nickels made in Spain. This is like a leather sole, size eight, nickels made in Spain. Sold for 30 bucks on eBay. Again, pick these up at the bins for less than two bucks. This 
These I should not have ever picked up, but I grabbed them based off of the style. They're like a sock boot heel knit situation, which to me, in my mind, are kind of trendy. Not that I would wear them, but people that are trendy would wear them in my mind. Um, and when I ended up looking them up, so they did have the brand C-U-C-C-O-O, Cuckoo, Cuckoo. And I didn't have signal, which I did not again have signal at the bins today. So um, when I got home, I realized that they actually sell this brand on Wish or Shein or something like that. So uh, yeah, I was glad to take a best offer of $17.75 for these boots. And again, I picked them up at the Goodwill bins. All right, we have some more shoes that we can go grab. Ooh, these birdies. Should we go grab these together? All right, these birdies, I actually, these were mine. So I guess my cost of goods is zero, or I guess you can say <laughs> my cost of goods was whatever I paid for them. But um, let's see, where are the birdies? Here they are. So um, these actually sold right away, probably within a couple days of listing. And I picked these up on Mercari and so I sold them for more than I paid for them and these were a little bit tight so you do have the dust bag and everything I'm not going to take them out they're all packaged up but you'll be able to see them up on the screen and their pointed toe I'm actually wearing some birdies right now um the smoking loafers are definitely a lot more comfortable than the pointed toe in my size so sold for $66 on Poshmark and I, I guess my cost of goods is zero because they were mine. So I'm going to go grab some more and come right back. Okay, so I grabbed the rest of the shoes. And while I was grabbing shoes, I had more jewelry orders coming in. So I will grab those with you guys as well. They're all going out today. So let's get into the rest of the shoes. Hopefully more orders don't start coming in. <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully, yes, that would be a good thing too. So these are some Clarks, some men's Clarks. And Clark, men's Clarks don't do as well. I don't know if it's because I just don't pick up as many men's Clarks. Certain boots like the desert boots do a lot better. Um, but these are just Clarks collection. These sold for $21.99. And I priced them lower than I normally would have because of this scratch right there. So um, I mean, they don't look too bad, like, just looking at them, but I would have priced them a lot higher. Sold for $21.99. I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for three, around three bucks. These I picked up at the bins. These are just some Spiries. I think I picked them up because they are in really great shape, and um, it was a slow bin stay. So these actually sold for $22 on Poshmark, and yeah, picked them up for less than two bucks. All right, here are some slippers I picked up at the bins, but these are the Sorel slippers. They look so cozy and comfortable. They remind me of the Ugg slippers that I'm wearing right now. These I picked up for less than $2 at the bins again, sold for $19.99 on eBay. Okay, these Clark Artisan ankle boots. I've had these for a little bit. They have the zipper on the inside. Nice suede in good shape. So these sold for $22 on Poshmark. And again, I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for round two. These you guys might remember, I just picked these up at the regular Goodwill for $6.99. The brand is Naya, N-A-Y-A. They sell this brand sometimes at Anthropology. These sold for $22. I did take that best offer, so I did make a little bit of a profit on those, buyer paid shipping. Okay, here is another Posh sale. I've had these forever. I've had some questions on these. I think it was a harder sell because they're black and white, but they also have a blue accent. So yeah, there's a lot going on with these, but they sold for $25 on Posh, and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for round two. All right, my last shoe sale for now are these Zodiac new without box boots. 
these look so stinking cute. The um, downside, I guess, to these boots is that they do not have a zipper, so they are pull-on, so they don't like really shape to the leg as much. Pick them up from Burlington, and I think I paid $39.99, so I paid up for them, but I thought I could get over $100 for these. The other ones, the black ones that I have listed, are still priced over $100. I just ended up taking a best offer of 75. I am getting my money back and then making some profit back on those. But I'm still holding out that the black boots are still going to sell. Sometimes I get really surprised by my Bur Burlington shoe pickups where all of a sudden one day they just sell full price and because people like buying like brand new without um, being used and they don't want to make the hassle of making an offer and waiting and all that stuff. So that is my shoes for now. I'm going to go ahead and put the total up on the screen and then we can go grab some belts. So it looks like we have three belts going out. I have one more. I'm just waiting on a payment. Any Anytime now, I think it is this one. Um, it's like a little Italian gold leather belt. All right. We'll see if that comes in and I can put uh, the picture and the cost up on this or the um price it's sold for on the screen but it is just a little gold embossed like thin made in italy vintage belt so it looks like fabric but it's actually leather so let's get into this eddie bauer it is a hunter green vintage belt i love it like do you guys come across green vintage belts that often that are leather i love it so this one sold for $19 on Poshmark. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins for around 50 cents. Here is just a Floorshime, Floorshime belt. Um, Floorshime is mostly known for their like men's shoes, but I grabbed this belt at the Goodwill bins for less than 50 cents, sold for $10 on eBay. All right, here is the great belt sale. Um, this one I picked up at the Goodwill bins again, and this was, I think, when the bins were pretty picked over. And this buckle right here is Native American, and it is signed Eagle Boy, and it is sterling silver. And it is on this tooled leather belt. It sold for $75, so turning less than $0.50 cents into $75 Yes, and it sold on eBay, and buyer also paid shipping. So some Native American sterling silver, you know, artist signed buckles can go for quite a bit of money. So I could have asked for a bit more, um, but I was <laughs> I was pretty good with uh, seventy five dollars. If someone's willing to pay seventy five dollars for this belt. I am more than happy to take that. So I will put my belt total up on the screen and I will go ahead and get packing. All right, you guys, I will put my sales up on the screen and we have hit 500 subscribers. So we're halfway there to um, 1,000 being monetized um, so that is so exciting. Thanks you guys for following me. If you're not already following this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. Oh, and I will be drawing a winner shortly. I will be giving away one of those, or a few of those mugs. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen. I'll be giving away uh, maybe two or three of those mugs to the winners of the 500 subscriber giveaway. So good luck and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you are thrifting so you can be generous as well. Bye guys.